everybody, my name is Celine. Today we're going to be talking about nutrition. Do you know what nutrition is? Nutrition is eating the right foods that our bodies need in order to be healthy and grow. All of the foods can be sorted into five different food groups. And that's exactly what we're going to learn today. I'm going to show you first how you can sort different things into different groups, similar to how food is sorted into different groups. Take a look at these circles. These circles are all different colors. What we can do is sort all of these circles by color. We can put all of the orange circles over here, all of the yellow circles right here, and all of the blue circles right over here. This is exactly how we could sort food into different groups. Let's go ahead and learn how that happens. All right, my friends, these are the five food groups. We have fruits, vegetables, grains, protein, and dairy. Let's go ahead and dive into these individually so you can see what's inside each food group. Let's go ahead and get started with fruits. Can you give me some examples of fruits? Those are awesome fruits. Let me go ahead and show you some examples that I have. We have bananas, grapes, oranges, and strawberries. Have you ever had any of these fruits before? That is so great. Fruits come from plants, and fruits can be all different colors. They often taste sweet. You can eat them as a snack, have some in your breakfast, or even for dessert. It's so important for us to get fruits because they keep our bodies very healthy and they help us grow. Let me show you an example of what fruits can do for your body. For this example, I'm gonna need you to show me the biggest smile ever, just like this. Those are awesome smiles, everyone. Some fruits help heal our cuts, scratches, and keep our teeth and our gums very healthy. Okay, now that we just talked about the fruit group, let's move on to vegetables. Can you give me an example of a vegetable? We have broccoli, carrots, peas, spinach, and peppers. Have you ever had any of these vegetables before? Just like the fruits, vegetables come in all sorts of different colors. Some vegetables, like carrots and broccoli, can be really fun to crunch on as a snack. Have you ever tried baby carrots and dipping it into low-fat ranch? This is one of my favorite desserts. Okay, let me show you an example of what vegetables can do for your body. For this activity, I'm gonna need you to bring out your night vision goggles. Go like this and show me your night vision goggles. Awesome, okay. So with your night vision goggles, go ahead and put them on, look around the room, and see if you can see anything and shout it out loud. What do you see? Awesome, vegetables are actually really important in providing vitamins that improve your eyesight and make sure that you're able to see all of these wonderful objects in the room. Not only are vegetables super yummy and make a perfect snack, but they'll help our bodies grow and make sure that our eyes can always see very well. Okay, we covered the vegetables group. Let's go ahead and move on to the protein group. Do you know what protein is? Protein is a type of nutrient that's very helpful in building our body. It's very helpful in building our muscles and making sure that we have a proper structure so that we can move around and are super strong always. Here are some examples of protein foods. We have some beans, beef, peanut butter, ham, and eggs. Have you ever tried any of these protein items before? Like I said earlier, protein is very important because it'll help build really strong muscles, which will help our bodies move. Protein can come from animal products, such as the beef coming from a cow or the ham coming from a pig. However, some protein foods also come from plants, like sunflower seeds, peanut butter, and beans. Do you wanna see what protein can do for your body? All right, for this activity, you're just gonna to have to repeat after me. Everything I do, I would love for you to try it at home also. Let's go ahead and take a very deep breath. Ready, inhale and exhale. Now, I would love for you to blink your eyes really quickly like this. Next, let's go ahead and snap our fingers like this. And lastly, let's go ahead and march in place go like this. Awesome. 
that was us using protein in our bodies because protein will help us do the marching, it'll help us do the snapping, it'll help us blink, and it'll help us take deep breaths. <sighs> our bodies are full of muscles and protein is what's necessary to keep those muscles really strong and healthy. Great, we already talked about the protein group. Let's go ahead and move on to dairy. All of these items belong to the dairy group. We have milk, yogurt, and cheeses like cheddar and string cheese. The dairy group is really important because it has this mineral in it called calcium. Can you say calcium? Awesome, calcium is really important because it's helpful in building strong bones. So we just talked about how important it is to have strong muscles like this, but it's really important for you to have healthy and strong bones so that you avoid any injuries. And that's why dairy is so important because it has calcium in it. However, there are other items that have calcium in it as well that don't have to come from milk, cheese, and dairy. Some of those items are things like peas, beans, and the other leafy greens. So dairy is important because it has that calcium that'll build the strong, healthy bones. Inside of our body, we have a skeleton that looks kind of like this. This skeleton is made of all of the bones in our body. The skeleton helps us stand up, kind of like I am right now. It'll protect our brain because our skull is also a bone, so it's protecting my brain right now. It'll also protect my lungs because I have bones right here on my chest, which is protecting my lungs and my heart and other things that are inside of my body. Awesome, so we learned all about dairy and the importance of calcium. Let's go ahead and move on to grains. Some items in the grains group include cereal, oatmeal, pasta, rice, and bread. Have you tried any of these items before? Grains come from plants and they are ground up very, very finely in order to make things like noodles and crackers and bread. The foods in the grains group provide our body with a lot of things for us to be healthy. One of the things that grains do is give our body energy, which will allow us to go outside and move, run, and play. Do you want to see what grains do for your body too? Awesome, go ahead and join me in this activity. If you're sitting down, go ahead and stand up on your feet. We're just gonna move around for a little bit. Okay, before we do our activity, we need to find our pulse. Does anybody know what a pulse is? Okay, so a pulse is the measure of how fast our heart is beating right now. I'm gonna take these two fingers here to find my pulse. I'm gonna go to my wrist right here on the side of my thumb I'm gonna go ahead and press down gently and see if I can feel a pulse. I feel my pulse, do you feel your pulse? Awesome, so right now my heart is beating pretty slow because I'm just standing here and talking, I'm not really doing much, but I wanna show you how that can change by moving our bodies. And remember, brains are giving us that energy that our bodies need to move. So let's go ahead and do this together. Let's go ahead and do 10 jumping jacks. Are you ready? Awesome, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right, go ahead and get to your two fingers again and check your pulse. Tell me what you feel now. Do you feel any difference? Whew, that was really tiring. I felt my pulse was beating a lot faster now because I did all of that movement. So your heart is beating faster because your body needs more energy in order for it to move. The body also needs more energy to move your muscles that we talked about earlier. The more active you are, the more energy your body's gonna need from food. And grains give us a lot of energy. All right, my friends, we've talked about a lot of ways that our foods can help us get healthy. Can you remember some of the ones we mentioned? Some of the things that I remember that food can do for our bodies is having strong bones, strong teeth, building strong muscles, having the energy to go outside and play, and food also helps us heal cuts and scratches. Now I have a question for you. Would you want to eat just one food all day long? I know I wouldn't want to eat just 
one food all day. All of these different food groups provide our bodies with different things in order for them to stay healthy. It's important for us to eat food from all five different food groups in order for our bodies to get what they need and for them to feel their best. Now I have another question then. Can you build a strong house with just pieces of wood? What else would you need to build a strong house? Exactly, you would need more than just pieces of wood to build a strong house. You would need things like nails and a hammer, a screwdriver, cement, and some paint in order for the house to be really strong. And that's exactly what our bodies need also. We need to grab foods from all different food groups in order for us to be as strong, happy, and healthy as can be. All right, my friends, I want to introduce you to five of my friends that may help you remember the five different food groups. This is fera fruit. Fera fruit is made out of an apple, blackberries, bananas, watermelon, strawberry, kiwi, grapes, oranges, and cherries. All right, next up we have my good friend Reggie Veggie. Reggie Veggie is made out of carrots, broccoli, snap peas, spinach, and beans. Next up, we have Jane Green. Jane Green is made out of whole wheat bread, pasta, cereal, rice, popcorn, and graham crackers. Next up, we have our friend Dean Protein. Dean Protein is made out of chicken, ham, egg, beans, and peanuts. And next up, we have Mary Dairy. Mary Dairy is made out of yogurt, milk, and cheese. I hope my five food group friends will help you remember that we have to eat from every single food group in order for us to grow big, strong, and healthy. Oh my goodness, I had so much fun with you all. Thank you so much for talking with me and learning with me about the importance of eating from all five different food groups. All right, everybody, thank you again for joining us on our really fun video. If you wanna watch another one with me, you can go ahead and ask a grown-up to click on part two, where I'm going to be reading a book about Anna and Will that involves all of these five food groups. It's gonna be so much fun. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.